What makes a good video? In some people's eyes, a good video, or rather category of videos, generally receive the best feedback when the following three guidelines are met. One, it's of good quality. No one wants to look at those unregistered hypercam videos other than for nostalgia's sake. Let's just be honest here. The skills of a content creator are reflected by the work that they put out and sends a universal message to all of its viewers what the format of the content will be like. Number two, there's consistency. Wouldn't it be weird if you were looking at the brand new episode of Lil' Hubert's and all of a sudden a still image of Beethoven appeared on screen? That would be shocking, right? Maybe you're even a little scared that this grotesque man just appeared in your animated TV show. You're petrified for Christ's sake. And lastly, there's something I call a silent toe. This falls more in line with the general idea of consistency, but to elaborate. Let's create a situation where you're watching Bartoon Network, the place for all your regular Bartoons. One day, the creative minds behind Bartoon Network decide that they aren't going to make what their brand is known for anymore just to appeal to a certain audience. But, but why? You say, Everybody wants to do an episode of Richard and Murderer, why do I have to write the <laughs> video? And it's because that's the content that seemed to be the most successful that one time. That brings me to today, March 8th. A lot of you newer fans may not know it, but some of you do. Uh, a little while ago, my videos came out on a more regular basis. It was an experimental period, if you will. Most of the videos are still up to this day, so you can really you know, check them out just to back up this claim. But on this day, five years ago, I committed to an idea quicker than a fat guy does to a McDonald's. I tell you, I was hot on Power Director for an hour straight thinking, Man, this is going to be my payoff. I mean, you're well known for the Asian. <laughs> well... Here it is! I hate this video with every disconnected atom in my body. The fact that this video... <laughs> this... This video amassed 100k views on my channel. Hell, the fact that it's the only video as of right now to reach over 50k pisses me off. Think about this. I made this in an hour with nothing but some low quality JPEGs, bandy cam, and an out of date version of Power Director all on an all-in-one Windows 7 computer. Out loud, that actually sounds kind of impressive. Now, <clears throat> I, I don't want to sound ungrateful at, at all. Like, I'm genuinely thankful that so many of you people watch my content to this day, despite my inconsistency. But this? Ah! The thumbnail looks terrible. Freaking bandy cam. Why are the JPEGs so terrible looking? Yeah, it, the, the pictures are cute, but it's so eye-graining. Freaking bandy cam? Why is it that the audio skips parts of the song? Oh wait, I remember, because there wasn't an actual clean version of Miss Jackson by Panic at the Disco. On that topic, it goes from emo to Yukino. Joe Grant, you made a nice song, but something's not adding up here. Like, what's with this inconsistency, man? The latter part of the video is just a still image. Like, the, why? F***ing Bandy Hey, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, my voice got a little deeper, but that's not the point of me talking right here. First and foremost, I do want to say thank you for 100,000 views on the video. Uh, it means a lot to me regardless of what video it is because it's something that I made and I feel like I have some type of fatherly attachment to it despite the fact that I'm not entirely proud of what I ended up doing with the video. Still, you guys are great and I hope that I continue to make stuff that you like, I guess. Alright, now on to the second bit of information. I understand for the past few months I've been absent on YouTube and parts of the internet as well, but that's mostly due to school catching up with me and uh, yada yada yada, you know the whole excuse. You guys have heard it way too many times by now, but my point is that uh, I feel like making YouTube content has actually helped me stay focused in life because uh, up until this point I've just kind of been losing my way as far as personal stuff goes. And I realized that uh, YouTube is something that I love to do and I don't want to strain myself or keep myself away from doing things that I like doing. I like being with you guys, I like live streaming. Really, YouTube is just a distraction that helps me keep my focus when it comes to other things. It's kind of like a healthy hobby. My point being that I am back and hopefully I can make more content, you know, within the coming weeks. Definitely when Animal Crossing New Horizons comes out, I'm going to be streaming it with you guys. Not sure if I'll have friends actually join my island, but you know, it's basic stuff. But until the next time that I upload, stay safe and have a good one. Peace out my gamers.